now to the penalty phase trial for the Parkland school shooter as the defense continues to call more witnesses. The judge issuing a warning in court today. Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live at the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale with all the details. And what that relates to, what you're making a reference to there, is prosecutors today decided to make a, a motion to invoke the rule of sequestration, and the judge granted that. So what that means is, starting from right now, and the judge says this is the first time anyone invoked the rule, any witnesses in this case cannot be sitting inside the courtroom or monitoring the proceedings via that live stream uh, during this time, although there is one exception, which are the mental health experts. Meantime, jurors today continue to hear the defense in its case presentation as they are including evidence they want them to consider about the Parkland shooter's background, his childhood. You may remember during its opening statement yesterday, the, de the defense told jurors that their client is damaged, that he was poisoned in the womb of his birth mother because of the drugs and the drinking she did while she was pregnant with him. And then there's another mom in the conversation here that is Linda Cruz that is the woman who then adopted him and they also positioned within their opening statement that perhaps she didn't do the best job managing the outcomes of being damaged let's listen in together I see him happy sometimes and then a lot of times I saw him there was no real expression of emotion young Nicholas Cruz all areas in my opinion he was delayed in. he was delayed in independent skills he was delayed in language he was delayed, um, gross motor, fine motor. Quick to be overstimulated, stressed out, overwhelmed, said the then director of his preschool. He would rock, and then on the wall, he would be rocking back and forth while he was soothing his arms. Using his hands. Even when he was two years old, he would point to get out of um, having to communicate. As he struggled with language delays. The pushing and grabbing the toys, it was because he didn't know how to express himself. Social skills, not at par with others nearing two years of age, choosing to self-isolate, she said. He was always sitting by the door, the wall is closest to the door, and just sat there. Or in other circumstances, lash out. He bit, and I can recall it could be way more, but for sure at least five kids. Like one child sat next to him <clears throat> in a chair and he just didn't know what to do. He didn't know how to socially involve himself or what have you. And the child had his arm out and Nicholas spit on. Do you think Nicholas was a bully based on your observations? I don't think, I would never, I would not say, in my opinion, I would not say Nicholas was a bully. Nicholas just didn't have the social skills. And she had this to say about his adoptive mother, Linda Cruz. Let's have the professionals assess him. And that took a while for her to get on board? A little bit. He was in a loving environment home, but tried their best. And now you are looking live, live pictures from inside the courtroom. So jurors right now are hearing from the woman you see in the witness stand. This is defense witness Trish Devaney Westerlin. So she knew the Cruz family because she was friends with Linda Cruz. In fact, she says both of her children were the ages of both of Linda and Roger Cruz's adopted children. So that would be Nicholas Cruz, the Parkland shooter, and then his brother, uh, half brother, they have the same birth mom, Zachary Cruz. And that it's, it's really interesting where you're hearing this nuance also from her, it really mirrors and echoes what they heard from that former director of the preschool. The word loving actually also echoed a loving family. She thought that Linda Cruz was doing the best job that she could. She really describes her as a doting mother, but that it did take her a heartbeat to come to terms with what she said was apparent to her and even others in the neighborhood as these neighborhood children around the same age were playing, that it was quite obvious and clear that Nicholas Cruz was struggling with things like language delays, um, really struggling with social skills. You know, she just described for jurors that as all the children are playing together in her house, Nicholas Cruz would hide behind the blinds. Um, so, we're, you know, jurors are kind of hearing this from different perspectives, uh, but it is interesting to note, given how much of a point the defense made to jurors in the opening statement about these two moms, right? The birth mom, which um, she says 
damaged him, poisoned him in her womb. Uh, and then you have this adoptive mother, which she presented to jurors, maybe didn't do the best job she could have been in order to mitigate and manage the implications of that. So they are threading that nuance right now, all this evidence they want them to consider before deciding if he should get life or death. Back to you. A lot to take in, Christina, thank you. Now to stay on top of the Parkland School Shooter Penalty Phase Trial, you can follow this QR code for our in-depth section you'll find over on local10.com.